you know, until I brought this beehive here, there was no bees in this, re in this area. I mean, not at all. And now I just love just sitting up here. I'm on top of the, this is the water system that they come in and close and just watch the bees coming in and doing their thing. And um, I just uh, grabbed a bunch of those and I'm starting to seed, just grab the seeds off and I'm gonna just seed this whole area with them. Seed this whole area with them. So next year, this whole entire embankment is gonna be early spring. It's just gonna have so much bee food for them. So when they come out, what is that guy? Some wasp. Walk. Trying to knock him down to see him. I don't have my gloves. But he had really long legs. Usually this means a wasp. And um, so that's what I'm going to do every day. Grab some seed from there and just, I just rip them off and I just throw them all out there and let them dry and they'll sink down on their own. Uh, the pods will dry themselves on the, on the vine, I think. Maybe too early. I've got all those to grab. I've got so much to grab. I'm gonna just grab them all and be seeding that side and this side. I'm trying to see if I see bees crossing over the water. What is that? Like a wasp. I don't have my glasses on. Oh, it's a bumblebee. That's a um, carpenter bee. It's a carpenter bee. Checking out this tree. Probably looking to do some carpentry. Here he comes. He's on this side here. Here he is. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I'm also thinking that um, I'm going to put a beehive on that tree there. The stump. I'll show you. So this great little perch. Sit right here. Look down at the bees. Um, this is all going to be soba, I think. These fields are going to be soba. I don't think they're going to be rice. Um, the real problem is the wheat. The wheat is what they spray the insecticides on. So let me show you what I'm planting here. Um, I actually took all this grass down a little bit. And as you can see, what I've been doing is just grabbing, this is the wrong way, but just grabbing the seeds like this here and just throwing them out there, right? Um, and I want to seed all this. What has me concerned, this is really close to the water level here, but you know what? This is like a natural perch right here for a box right in here. There is some ants living in here though. You can see the ants around here. So that's a potential problem, ants in your hive. I'm sure I'm gonna have ants in that hive dealing with that, you know, um, I don't know if the bees take care of ants. I don't know anything about that. Um, maybe I need to put some boric acid around. You know, I could put boric acid. The bees aren't going to eat it, but if I put boric acid around the base here, right, I don't think the bees will eat it. Um, I do have the hive elevated. That's honey on the ground there. I, got, I thought maybe it's the honey that's poisoning them, so I got rid of the honey. Not like they need it. Let me fix this real quick here. Let's see duct tape here, back on here. Kind of, I don't listen to the hive. And this is like a really, I don't know how many people listen to their hive. I hear them. I wonder if I'm right down here. This guy. His wings look screwed up. I don't know if he's young or what, but so that's a quick update. Got the bees in. Second day, I'm gonna be doing a lot of filming. And sitting up here and just watching them. I may come out tonight with a flashlight and just watch with a flashlight. Just sit up here with a flashlight on it like that. 
Um, I did see a red um, ferret. We have a ferret. This morning, I came out, I saw some movement, I, was, I stood still. It came right up, it came right to there. I was standing right there. I could have, you know, jumped on it. Then it, it was like, oh no, I don't want to go that way. It came back this way and went up here. They didn't want to go close to me. So there's something there. And it went off in here and I lost it. I tried to chase it down. So it may be living in a grotto there, but it came out to check out the bees. I don't know if he's eating the dead bees on the ground. It'd be a nice little snack, some dead bees. Um, and then I just filmed, I was like taking some of the bees that were like dying. I think they're just old. Uh, I don't know. And this bee, I watched this big old drone pick up this bee and he took him out way on that rice paddy right there and just dry. I saw him drop him. I saw him do boom. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Man, bees are, you know, they're, it's all down to business like if you're not if you're not part of the clique dude kind of like silicon valley get the fuck out of here you know so they seem cool um i moved a couple of the frames up i actually moved a couple of the frames up give more space at the bottom and then actually uh, i moved another uh, frame two frames on top so I'm trying to move the bees around the, the hive. I don't know if I moved the right ones or whether that was the right thing to do or not, but I'm just trying to get them so they know that there's space and, um, you know, but I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm <laughs> just out here messing around, trying to figure it out. I'm gonna watch a lot of the Fat Man videos. I think that's what I'm gonna watch. Just watch his videos every night. He seems to be the best videos if you're gonna pick up beekeeping. The fat beekeeper, the fat man on there. This guy wouldn't even talk to me. You know, my other fear is I'm scared that these, one of these guys will come here with their freaking insecticide and spray. But, um, you know, they don't appreciate that. It will help their uh, tumble, right?